No one's feeling confident tonight. It is anybody's game. I'm prepared to go pack my bags or I'm prepared to go to sleep. Andy Dick is not just a person. It's a business. Tonight, I'm going to make a business decision. Please step into my boardroom. So we walk in and, and we enter the boardroom and I think, okay, I've seen this before. I'm not feeling very confident at all. I don't think anyone is. Hello and welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? I might go in and out of that voice. I'm not sure if it's working for me. I was sick today and I needed all of you to step up to the plate because I had a number of things I needed to do. I canceled half of them and I gave you guys the other half. I think a lot of people are anxious to get to the end and get to the winner and kind of get the stress over with. Tanika, Michael, you guys didn't do your job, right? Who are we discussing? And Andy. Andy. We have progress on the job. They were impressed with the progression that you've made throughout your career and what you have to offer as a performer. So I kind of fluffed his feathers a little bit, you know, so his ego wasn't bruised. What do you think about that? I'm not sure. You guys tried, and that's what counts. So you two can go back to the garage and get a good night's sleep. We go back to the garage, and we're excited, but at the same time, we do not know what's going on, and we just have to wait and see who comes through the door. Stephanie and Melissa. Andy's proved before you never know the reasoning why you're going. Did you like the kid? I thought he said you were good. You he was a him. great kid. He was? Yeah. He warmed up to us. Mm -hmm. At first he's a little sketchy, but... I don't like him. He didn't like us at first, but... I can't transfer out of that kid and get another kid. It's, that's not how it works. It's a volunteer program. Otherwise, I would dump that kid because he's a... If you can handle that little brat, then go to the garage. Thank you. Yeah. I am so relieved and so excited that I made it through the boardroom. <laughs> Just about every night I kind of think that, all right, you know, it's time for me to go. You had a tough assignment. You were to break up with my current girlfriend. What, what are you doing? Where, where are you? That's what I wanted you to do. Just, just break it off, clean and easy. That's what I do. It is what you did, isn't it? You are not fired. You can go to your back to your garage. I'm I'm really really nervous. I'm like, oh god, it's me and Mark, one of the strongest players in this. I narrowed it down to Mark or Anna, because they really just screwed up the most. I would like to know why you think you should stay. And deep down, I make you laugh, and I know when to laugh, and I know when to work. The end? The end. Mark made me look like a jackass. I'm gonna make Andy look like the ass that he is. But is it the ass that you are and makes you so funny? Is that funny? You think that's funny? You shut up and stop talking! I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, because, you know, Andy, that's what he wanted me to do, and I went out there and I did it. Anna simple take jack to the library so you can study history let's not even bother but the library was but the, 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 the library is closed, closed on, on sundays Monday. although i didn't really have the resources to get my task completed i didn't find a way to do it what do you think i'm not sure you're really not much help either you know that but it's a hard decision how i know it's hard that's why i'm asking you it's time to eliminate Goody. I've tried to run a tight ship here. Can't have any leaks. Can't have any screws loose. Any leaks. So with that in mind and with that said, Mark, you're fired. Go ahead, little piggy, and laugh. All the way home. In my house, there's only room for one ass. That's you. And that hole would be me. 
I didn't see it coming. I thought it could happen, but not this round. I think Andy lost someone important today. Someone like a good worker. It's so funny. I was talking to my mom today, and she's like, just for some reason, Mark, for some reason, I just know you're going to win. I know it. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, don't say that. You're going to jinx it. You're going to jinx it. I'm upset that Mark had to leave. I don't think it was Mark's time to go. You're back, right? Yeah, I'm back from outer space with this sad look upon my face. Should have changed. Yeah, stupid lock should have made you give the key. If I know no just what to say. You be back, back to bother, bother me. me. Oh, no, no, no. Go. Walk out, out the door. Just Turn around, around now. You don't know what I'm going to do anymore. Honestly, I am a little disappointed because I thought I could have won. I think I would have done a really good job. I was sad that it had to be Mark. He didn't deserve to be let go. I like Mark as a person, but I don't think I'll miss him. I would love to clip everybody. I just would. But I can't, legally. All the way home. On the next episode of The Assistant. I was thinking we should go camping. Wheels on the bus go round and round. I just got to Holly Weird. I love it. You guys aren't like afraid of me, like thinking I might just snap at any minute. Who are you people? It was the most miserable. Shut up. It sucked. This reality show is ruining my life. I just couldn't wait to get home. Bitches. 